explain something. I want to open it up and show you guys. There we go. We have a citrine crystal. I'm Roxy and if you're new to my channel, I'm so happy to have you here and if you've always been here then welcome back. I do a lot of lifestyle videos, weekly vlogs, productivity and organization type videos. So in today's video I wanted to share something a little bit different. I wanted to share five things that I've been doing recently to make me feel happier and that might be something really weird to say but do you really do things to make yourself happy in your everyday life? Because let me tell you when I looked at my life for a really long time I realized that I didn't do things to make myself happy. I literally always put my happiness in the hands of other people and while they were going out and living their lives I was really unhappy and not in a good place so I've kind of implemented five little things in my life that I do for myself to make myself feel happy and I wanted to share it with you so first up and basically the gist of this video is realizing that I want to do things to make myself feel happy so it can be so many little things some of which I'll be sharing with you but it could also be more mental and emotional things such as realizing that you are self-sabotaging yourself that was a problem that I had for a really long time where I would literally make myself be unhappy and just stop living the life that I know I'm meant to live because I would always think about someone else's emotions, which is all fine. Taking other people's emotions and feelings into consideration is not a bad thing, but it does become a form of self-harm when you realize that you're putting your life on hold for them, whereas they're just living their life, living their best life, and who can blame them? Everyone should want to live their best life. And that is basically something that I've realized I was doing for a very long time and I basically wrote down a list of things that I, I want to do and I want to implement into my life to make me live my best life. Another way that I make myself happy and make myself live my best life is by using crystals and a few that I keep on my desk are amethyst, rose quartz and clear quartz. All of them have different meanings and benefit your life in different ways and I love keeping them on my desk since it's where I find my most inspiration in life. One of the new ways I've been incorporating crystals into my life is by drinking crystal infused water. I'm so happy to be partnering with Soji Energy today to bring to you this crystal infused water bottle. This is my beautiful package from Soji Energy and it is the Crystal Health Gem Elixir. The water bottle is so pretty. It is completely glass. It makes me nervous but you have this little piece that you can use with it. The packaging is really pretty. Okay so let's get this out. So this is how it looks. And then here's the fun part. You have the crystal that comes with it. So my crystal that I chose is the citrine crystal. I wanna open it up and show you guys. Okay, so there we go. We have the citrine crystal, which is this yellow crystal. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about citrine because I was really drawn to this, which is why I chose it. I'm just gonna wash this and bring it all back and show you guys how I use it. So you have your beautiful crystal water. I mean, look how pretty that is. I was really drawn to the citrine crystal. So what is really cool is that you can swap out the crystals inside so you can change it up whenever you feel really drawn to certain crystal. So this is citrine and this really spoke to me and originally, let me be real, I was going to choose a pink one like rose quartz or a purple like amethyst just because pink is my favorite color but I decided to do something a little different and actually read through all of the crystals and the meanings and see which one really called to me and I have never even thought about having this citrine crystal in my life and when I read about it I was like I definitely want to have my water infused with this so citrine is the crystal of manifestation which is so insane because that is basically what I'm talking a lot about on my Instagram and the content that I've been doing recently it encourages fullness of life fresh beginnings new pursuits as well as increases and awakens creativity and imagination so this also attracts wealth prosperity and all good things I was just so drawn to it and I'm really happy that I got it. I have been infusing my water with it for some weeks now and I absolutely love it. I really feel like if it's brought a huge difference upon my mindset, it makes me happy. It makes me more motivated to manifest the life that I really want to live. In fact, it even inspired me to add a crystal to my collection and it is the citrine crystal. So I have it infused in my water as well as on my desk because I feel as if it really helps me with my goals and seeing very clearly the path that I'm on. So I will have all of that information linked down below. This bottle is a gorgeous 
gorgeous glass bottle so you can see your crystal and this handle that you can carry it about with. I definitely recommend trying this out if you are looking towards just feeling an overall improvement in your mind and your body and your soul. And if you do get one, let me know which crystal you are getting. One habit I was really excited about starting is keeping fresh flowers inside my room. And I got these beautiful batches from a local florist. So I'm just gonna swap out my old eucalyptus for this new one and then open out this bunch of flowers. Always remember to snip the edges at an angle. Oh. Okay, I have to find those pieces. <laughs> got a cute little note with it. I feel like if these can cut a little lower <laughs> because they're so big. So cutting at an angle again. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. I guess we can leave the ones in the back like this. Oh, how cute do they look? Okay, so this is my old bunch of eucalyptus. So I'm gonna just swap this out. So I have my eucalyptus over here and it looks so good next to my sage. I think I'm always gonna be keeping fresh eucalyptus in my room because it makes me really really happy. Number three is incorporating fresh flowers in my room. I have some gorgeous purple mums I think these are. I got them from a local florist but forgot to ask which one they are. I also have some fresh eucalyptus on my desk. I do have a lot of greenery in my room but I feel like if fresh flowers was just something that was missing for a really long time I would always think I have to wait for someone to give me flowers when flowers are just readily available and you don't have to wait on some Someone to give you flowers you can literally get yourself a bunch of beautiful flowers and put them in your room and that instantly changes my mood and makes me so happy and it's just something really small that I'm doing for myself to make me feel good my fourth tip is to have inspiration all around you but I decided to do this in a little creative way by using a letterbox now you don't have to use a letterbox you can use framed quotes and I do have one of those on my shelves which says you grow through what you go through and I think it's really cute it's also a free download on my blog so you can go ahead and check it out if you want the same print but I do have my little letterboard and again I do have it on my desk because my desk is my main point where I'm always at and when something is on my desk I never miss it but I'm gonna swap out I have carpe diem right now which means seize the day it's a quote that I always felt drawn to but I think I'm gonna do something like you are your choices or something like that if you have any quote I ideas comment down below and let me know I would love some inspiration every time I wake up it's the first thing that I see and it really you know makes me stop for a second and really like just think about what it is saying and that gives me a little burst of inspiration okay, the last little magical way that I use to make myself feel happy and inspired is by using sage I know it's kind of crazy but sage is used to cleanse negative energy from your space I feel like if everyone needs a little sage in their life to just get rid of any negative people emotions just toxic things in general so I have my sage in this little pink geometric bowl and I just light one ever so often and just pass it through my room whenever I need a little boost of like positivity in my life and just uplift my mood and my spirit. I know some of these things were a little out there but honestly those are things that have been making me really happy in recent times and I just wanted to share it with you in case you know you're looking for some magic and inspiration in your life. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It really means so much to me and it helps my channel and lets me know that you support the content I create. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.